nothing better than starting a trip in a storm. We love driving in the rain. So we just left here and there's thunderstorms predicted. Uh, right now it's raining kind of hard, but no thunder, no hail, thank God, yeah. no lightning yet. So we'll see what happens. We have about, about 110 miles yeah. to go. We're not gonna tell you where we're going. We always like to keep it a secret until we get there. We're really excited. This is a yeah, new campground, so we're going to be bringing you a lot of information from this. We'll do a separate campground review. This is kind of a relaxing getaway. This is Father's Day weekend, so Jason will be with his dad. If you're new to the channel, Izzy is Jason's stepdad, so he will be with his dad for Father's Day. So every year we take this opportunity to kind of get away, and work's been really crazy. We're going to do a lot of relaxing and recording video, of course, but looking forward to a nice little respite. So I was just telling MJ it's been three trips in a row with no problems on the RV. Zero. You jinxed it. Let's see if we can make it four. I don't, I'm feeling confident everything's working out so far. We'll let you know as the vlog goes on. to be nice after all we have one day where it's not going to rain so we are going to salvage this day we have what an hour we have part of the day tomorrow too yeah, the weather gods are not on our side for this trip no, a lot of rain last night but I said you know I have just read down all the roof seals probably about a month ago I told MJ I'm like well this was the perfect test to see oh, if there yeah. was any leaks it because was coming down hard. it would have came in and we were uh, high and dry if you are a cyclist runner scooterist uh, scooterist what it, these are ideal bro oh look there's like an RV garage here that's so what I want oh beautiful it's too bad that it's like we're not big fans of New York, but New York State's actually super, really, really, really nice. Like we would totally live up here if it wasn't because of the winters. Right. So at this point, we should reveal where we are. Oh. We are in New York. We're in Copake, New York. We're staying at Wabika Campground. Now this campground is not something that we found on our own. About two years ago, somebody uh, left a comment on a video, one of our subscribers, and said, "Oh, you should try Wabika Family Campground." So. We kind of put it on our list. We do listen to you guys and we take feedback. And we've done a number of times when we've tried campgrounds. So we're here, we just, you know, we just got here yesterday. It's been kind of, ugh, it's Father's Day weekend. So they'll be starting up activities tomorrow, but today's gonna be the perfect day. So we're deciding this is the day we wanted to go into Woodstock, New York. We love Woodstock. So we're gonna take staying in and spend the day there. our one meal out for the entire trip. So we found this place, it's called the Garden Cafe in Woodstock. They have a lot of good food and they have an indoor and an outdoor place. It's right in the middle of everything. Tinker Street apparently in Woodstock is the place where all the shops are and everything. This is very close to that. So we're gonna have lunch here and then we're gonna have dinner at the RV every night. So this is like our little treat out. If you don't know, I love to eat. Super excited. Buffalo tofu appetizer ticket. Really oh, smells really good. It's salivating. It is a little spicy, but it is outstanding. That's amazing. That was one of the best meals we've had in a very long. I can't believe how good that was. I'm so, I'm so full. I'm so like bloated right now. <laughs> but because we ate too much. So that place we just went to, it's all organic, locally sourced. Man, that was really good. So if you ever, <laughs> it is called Garden Cafe. If you're ever in Woodstock, pass by. It's starting to get really crowded now. Very crowded. And it's a Thursday afternoon. It's not even a weekend. Now let's just talk about the dessert portion of the menu, if we, uh -huh. if we can. So we had those delicious entrees and the appetizer that we showed you. So then we ordered dessert. Izzy ordered a cheesecake. It was cashew, like a cashew cheesecake. cheesecake. And then I got dairy-free bread pudding. It was huge. I couldn't even finish like a it brick. Off. So Izzy finished his cheesecake. And then of course, 
finished mine. He polished off about half of mine. So it was twelve dollars. I'm not gonna let that go to waste. <laughs> you can't no throw food away goes money. to waste. <laughs> no. We get a lot of questions from people about what we eat when we're camping. So it's dinner time and we have Master Chef Izzy on the Blackstone. Izzy's a very good cook if you didn't know this, besides his protein smoothies. So you wanna tell what we're having? Yes, we're having just a veggie stir fry and some spinach on the side. We will utilize the Blackstone. I know this may seem boring for some, but it's actually quite good. Look at it, here's everything we're, we're using. Some rice, carrots, onions little stir fry mix, soy sauce, sesame seeds, and you gotta get the spinach. It is hiking day. Not the hike that we wanted though. We had these big plans. We drove over to Bashbish Falls, which actually has two entrances. So it has a New York entrance where we are staying. And then there's a Massachusetts entrance, which has like the more challenging steep hikes. So we're like, yeah, we're gonna do that. We drove all the way there and it's closed. <laughs> so, <laughs> a lot's closed. I gotta be careful. We could probably walk there if you I want. I could spill right here. So we drove back to the New York side. So we're just starting out this hike now. We may have to do it a couple times though, because- Well, we'll see where this trail goes. It I may think, continue going, I don't know. I think it's kind of short. But there's beautiful water right next to us and we're headed towards the actual waterfall, which is why people hike this. We made it and I didn't fall. Is he almost? Yeah. You're, I think, taking my place. We're gonna yell because it's loud. So here's the Bash Fish Falls right behind us. It's beautiful. There's almost nobody here. Perfect. We have like the whole place to ourselves. It is gorgeous. So when we turn this camera off, we're gonna stop. We're gonna take a few deep breaths. Just listen. And we're just gonna enjoy this. Are they good? Yeah, I made them. Blueberry. No, no, who made them? You made the batter. You cooked I them. cooked them. <laughs> Homemade blueberry pancakes. Uh, this mm. is a recipe MJ has. It's really good and they're super easy to make. And they're very easy to make. And if you're lactose intolerant or anything, you just replace, you can use plant-based milk of any kind. And they are, there's so few ingredients and they are delish. Rain expected all day. It's kind of on and off. We will salvage some of the day. I know MJ went for a walk this morning and kind of got rained on. Yeah. But I guess the good thing is just keeping it somewhat quiet. Although it's supposed to clear out later this afternoon, right? Like a little later, later this afternoon. So we'll see, we'll, it's our last day here. Last we'll, full day. We're leaving tomorrow morning, unfortunately. The campground got packed though. Last oh, there's a night, lot of people here packed, now. Packed and a lot of kids yep. and are out already, even in the rain. We are grabbing, what, about two hours of sun. We're gonna hop on the scooters. We're gonna go into town. There's a little, a very adorable, actually we were there yesterday, the Copake General Store. So we're just gonna Check the diner, look too. around. There's like an old dad, what is it called? Dad's? Dad. Or dad's dad's Copake diner. diner is he wants to go just see what it looks like so we're gonna enjoy this couple hours because I think once like three o'clock comes guys it's it the thunderstorms no, are coming no, no, hold on. The, the weather people are always wrong they're actually wrong more than they're right that is true so, I mean it, it was supposed to be raining this entire day so we'll okay. see in my next life I'm going to be a weatherman because you never have to be right. No, not job. at all. Sorry if any any weatherman watching. I do respect what you do, but it but was you're full of to, crap. It was supposed <laughs> to rain yesterday all the way through all day today. And it rained a couple hours or so. We were out this morning and then it rained and here we are again and we're walking these beautiful trails. Nobody's out here. Nobody comes to the but the main campground is jammed right now. There's there must be like a golf cart parade or something we, we almost got run over by like a million golf carts but it's cool the kids are having a good time they had like a foam pit going yeah all these really they're cool doing things. bonfire tonight right yeah. they sort of the piles of stuff to burn so i think if it it's gonna hold off because the sun there's no clouds so in the sky too. right now so just as we're getting ready to leave the sun is coming out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, we did salvage the weekend. It wasn't horrible. No, we did. We actually, we did get sun yesterday for part of the day. Yeah, so it wasn't too bad. But we got a lot done last night. We had a lot of work. Is he actually, we both relaxed a little. Yeah, we, we did sleep late, you know, late. 
late this week. We did. We slept till what? Like 6.30, 7? Yeah, that's late. That was awesome. That was really awesome. So we have what? 2.15 to home? The way home? Nah. More? 2.30, 2 2.45 or so. Uh, but by home, it's was nice all weekend. So it was, we're going driving back to the sun, which is good. This has been a good weekend. It was really fun. Yeah, relaxing. Just the two of us. No dogs, no kids. And it was more than two nights. It really makes a big difference. It does. It was four nights, and you can really kind of exhale, you know, and relax. Yeah. We really like this area. Uh, there are some campgrounds in the area, which is a nice thing. So We do want to try some of the other ones. There's at least one other and then about two others within 20 minutes. We have to check them online. We have we don't know what the reviews. But the good thing is, this is a good distance for us yeah. to do. Like, if we have a shorter weekend, mm -hmm. we can come. And those were even a little bit closer. Yes, this about 40 minutes closer, yeah. which is I nice. I think one was a Co Copay camping resort. Yep. And then there was another one I forget. Over by Kingston, there was a couple of them. If you've stayed in any, um, you know, in this area, the Copay area, let us know in the comments. So our next one up is Vermont. We're headed to Vermont yep. in a few weeks. And then we have a couple Nashville. different ones so in the areas. But yes, Gettysburg. In, and in August, we have Nashville. We're going to Kentucky. We have yep. Gettysburg. We have Lancaster. We have so many different. Yeah, well, that's not RV. Well, that's going to be our uh, favorite one for sure. But Nashville, that we're really excited about. That's going to be a two-weeker. We're going to have a ton of videos coming out oh, from that. One other thing. Well, we're not home yet, but fourth trip in a row. No issues. <laughs> so we'll see if we can Jinx keep that it. running. I said it's going to be safe for Nashville and we're far, far away no, from home. No. So in the comments below, guys, let us know. Have you been up to this area? Let us know. Is this upstate New York? I'm not quite it's sure. It's not upstate. Gonna, people are going to yell I, at you. That's why I'm asking. Let us know. Is it upstate? It's not. <laughs> let us know if you've been to this area. To the left of us, if you like videos like this, we'll put our RV vlogs. We'll also put our RV campground reviews. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime. And we'll see, see you on the road. road.